Hello all, welcome to this new section of tips and tricks. In this particular section, I'm going to introduce you to certain tips and certain techniques using which you can master your iOS pen testing. The very first one is the iOS pen testing checklist. Now it is practically not possible to remember all the iOS related vulnerabilities. So what I have done for you is I have created a checklist using which you can remember and check off a particular vulnerability that might be found or might not be found inside the iOS application. So over here I have created a checklist. This checklist is basically on the basis of the most common vulnerabilities that are found inside the iOS application. This checklist over here, the first sheet contains the OWASP mapping 2016 against the check name or the test name that needs to be performed on the iOS application. So for example, let's say inside improper platform usage, we first have to check for app permissions. So you can go on to your application, your iOS application, go inside the info.pls file and inside the info.pls file, you may check out if there are certain app permissions which are misused or not. If you find certain app permissions which are misused, you can write over here that you have found, found that particular vulnerability. Similarly, you can also check out for keychain, touch ID and other security related controls. Minimum device security requirements are absent. Default credentials, if there are any default credentials that are being used on the application server, you can note them as well and you can mention it over here. For M2, we have insecure data storage wherein you, you will be able to find all the insecure data storage related vulnerabilities such as unrestricted backup file, insecure shared storage, insecure application data storage, information disclosure through logcat, Apple system logs, application backgrounding, copy paste buffer caching, keyboard press caching, etc. M3, insecure communication, you would be able to see whether SSL pinning is implemented or not, disabling certificate validation, insecure and de depreciated algorithms used, insecure transport layer protocols, end-to-end -end encryption, etc. So these are certain tests. Similarly, I have listed down over here for insecure authentication, insufficient cryptography, ins insecure authorization, client code quality, code tampering, reverse engineering, and extraneous functionality as well. In the second tab, again, over here, I have listed down all the tests, but these tests are divided into two categories. One is the static analysis category, and the second one is the dynamic analysis category. So inside the static analysis category, over here, you'll be able to find all the tests that are that are used or that can be found inside the static analysis. For example, reverse engineering of the application code, information leakage, hard-coded credentials, misuse of app permissions, insecure version of OS installation allowed, cryptographic-based storage strength, insecure backups, custom keyboard, sensitive information in application memory, etc. You can find the test name, you can find the description, you can find which tool is being used or which tool can be used in order to find this particular test. You can find the applicable platform. So this particular checklist, you can also use this checklist for Android as well. So if there are certain tests that are only related to iOS, you will be able to find these tests only related to iOS as well. So for example, sensitive functionality exposure through IPC, checking for custom URI handler, universal links, UI activity sharing, UI pasteboard, app extensions, web view, etc. These are only related to iOS. So that's what the applicable platform over here is written, iOS. The OWASP category and the result. Again, over here inside the result, you can either write yes or no. If you have found a particular vulnerability, you can write it yes. If you, are, if you have not found this particular vulnerability, you can write it as no. This entire checklist, you would be able to find in the description section. So you can download it from there and you can save it into your system for further reference. For dynamic analysis, again, we have mentioned all the dynamic test names over here, the description for the dynamic tests, the tools that can be used in order to perform the dynamic test, applicable platform, OWASP category, and the result. There's one more checklist, which usually people follow. This is a checklist mentioned by Hacktricks. So all you have to do is you have to copy this particular link, go on to Chrome and paste this particular link. Once you paste it, you'd be able to see an iOS pen testing checklist. This checklist is one of those which 
users prefer or which the community prefers so over here you have preparation wherein you can read about ios basics prepare your environment read all the sections then you have data storage related vulnerabilities so you can uh, take them off if you have found any vulnerability in plus file core data yap databases firebase misconfigurations realm databases couch based light databases binary cookies cache data automatic snapshots keychain so if you have found all of these you can just checklist or check all of these and then you can move forward it also has keyboard related attacks log related attacks backups application memories broken cryptography local authentication sensitive functionality exposure through ipc uh, it has a uh, various list of sensitive information disclosure through ipc then you have network communications and certain miscellaneous as well so you can follow any checklist as you like you can also create your own checklist nevertheless this particular checklist which we have created we want to share it with you and hence we are going to paste this particular excel sheet inside the comment section or inside the description section you can download it from there so that's it for this particular video thank you